The budget is looking very tight for the city of El Paso and the council voted to maintain the same property tax rate as last year. Aye. And Lisa. Aye. The motion passes unanimously. The city manager recommended covering the priorities like street maintenance and police and fire budgets while setting quality of life projects aside. Even keeping the same tax rate, the city is slated to get nearly $5 million in new revenue as property values went up by 4% and that will be bringing in more money into the city's coffers. City staff recommended putting it all in a stability fund, basically a rainy day fund, and the mayor agreed. No telling what's going to be around the horizon. We don't know how long this pandemic is going to continue. Well, we look back at Representative Rivera's push for body cams. We talked about all those issues. We, we got lots of things. Let's, let's stick with the priorities as we have now. And after that plea, council voted 7 to 1 to allocate $250 million from that projected new revenue on a comprehensive system to track constituents' concerns with Representative Claudia, or, uh, Claudia Rodriguez voting against, and I believe that was 250000 not a million. A giant step 